come here because I feel for all the people who have been killed and wounded in the war. That's why I'm here. I think that's the main reason. And I want to stand up and be counted. I want, I want people to know that I'm not for the war. I'm here because this is the fifth anniversary of the war, and um, it's incredible that this war is still going on. People just have to keep with it in terms of putting the pressure on to stop this war. I don't know how we're going to be able to stop it if we, if we don't keep coming out and, um, and showing that things haven't changed. Even though the surge may look to some people like it's working, it's not working. It has to be horrible out there, really horrible, and I feel bad for those warriors that died. Steps on Brent Adams, who was killed in Iraq a couple of years ago, and she's going to speak to you. How many of the close to 4,000 American men and women's lives were worth losing over a war that began based on a lie and has continued to exist on those lies? Zero. I say zero. The fact is that our children's lives and their allegiance to this country by serving has been squandered by our president. I feel it is his lies and his deceit and his unwillingness to end this war that has caused every single one of those deaths. It is long past time to put a plan together and end this war and bring our men and women home.